Now, when I have some basic elements of the track in the session view, I would like to build the arrangement for it and place my clips on the timeline. In that case, I need to record my little live performance into the arrangement view. In this video, I will show you how to make it. I've placed the clips on the synths the way I want to combine them in my track. And now I have eight synths for different parts of the arrangement. Using shortcut command R, I can rename them. Using the same shortcut, I've also renamed the tracks. Now let's play with our clips. During the performance, I can trigger clips separately or I can trigger the whole scene. If I want some clip to stop playing, I click the stop button on an empty slot of the same track. So that's basically how it works. Before I start recording, I must make sure that there are no armed tracks and there's no loop on the timeline activated. Now I'm holding shift key and pressing record. This way, the recording won't start until I play my first clip or scene. Let's go! Let's see what we have. I'm switching to the arrangement view, and if I want to listen to what I've just recorded, I should click this little orange button that brings me back to the arrangement. If I trigger any clips or synths in the session view while listening to my song from the arrangement, that orange button will appear again. Pressing it, I bring to the arrangement that thing I just added. Alternatively, instead of making a real-time recording, I can just drag and drop my clips from session to arrangement manually. I press tab to get there. I highlight all the clips I want to bring to the arrangement view. I take them with the mouse, press tab while still holding them, and now I can place them wherever I want. I can also just copy and paste clips by selecting them, pressing Command-C, and then Command-V in the arrangement view. If I enabled loop on my clip, I can just drag it to the lengths I want. Now I want to edit some parts of my recording. For example, let's shorten these drum buttons on the edges of the song's parts to make our drops hit harder. Sometimes I feel like some part of my recording should be deleted, or maybe I want it to go on for two times longer. When that happens, I use the delete time, copy time, duplicate time option in the edit menu. In the arrangement view, it's very comfortable to work with automation. For example, if I want to add some movement to the sounding, I will automate the frequency of a filter. I'm dragging the auto filter on a track with the synth, right clicking the frequency and pressing show automation. The automation lane for this parameter is now visible and I can set points on it. This way, my low pass filter will open slowly, reaching the full power just before the drop. If I want to have the same effect on another instrument, I'm just copying the filter with command C, pasting it to another track with command V, and the automation is getting copied together with the effect. Now when I've got the skeleton of my track on the timeline, I can dive deeper into details and uh, make my track more interesting and unique. And um, I think it would be fun to record a couple of vocal samples for my microphone. If you like how it's going so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.